How's it going, everybody? C Rad TV back here in our video. So, of course, the NFL Conference Championship round is now upon us. We're down to the final four teams in the playoffs, which means it's time to talk about the Conference Championship and give the picks out for this week. So, yeah, of course, I'm in the divisional round last week. I went three and one in the divisional round. So, my record this year goes to 183, 96, and two. So, yeah. We only got three games left this season, plus a meaningless fucking Pro Bowl game. But yeah, we're coming down to the very end of the season. Four teams remain, and we got two conference championships. So, who will advance to the Super Bowl from the NFC, and who will advance to Super Bowl 57 in the Arizona Desert in the AFC? Only two teams will do will battle to the death in the desert. Well, let's find out who those two teams are. Let's go. So, starting off, we got the NFC Championship game, which will be the early game this year, since, since every year the, the early game is swapped between the AFC and the NFC each year. So this year will be the NFC that gets the early game. In this one, we got the San Francisco 49ers and the Philadelphia Eagles battling out for the NFC Championship in Philadelphia. Philadelphia is favored in this game by two and a half points, so it's going to be close. Both teams have top 10 defenses and top 10 offenses. Of course, for San Francisco, I'm Christian McCaffrey. He's questionable with a calf injury. For the Eagles, I'm Avante Maddox. is questionable with a toe injury. And A.J. Brown is questionable with a hip injury. Um, San Francisco, they lead the all-time series over Philadelphia 2014-1. And there's been only one playoff meeting between the two team, these two teams, and that was in 1996, where San Francisco won that game in the wild card round. So this will be the second ever playoff meeting between these two teams. This is a really tough game to predict. Like two good defenses. Like San Francisco has the number one ranked defense in the league. Philadelphia has like the number four ranked defense in the league. So two top five defenses. To be perfectly honest, I think this is gonna be a low-scoring game. I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna be a defensive battle, and I think it's gonna come down to which offense can beat the other team's defense at the end. Who, which defense can make them keep the mistakes at a minimum? It's a really tough game to call, but you know, in Philadelphia, that kind of environment it's gonna be tough for San Francisco. Especially with how rowdy that Eagles fan base is going to be at the link. This is a tough game to call, but remember what I said. The last two times that Philadelphia has been the number one seed in the, in the NFC, they've gone on to make the Super Bowl those last two times. And I think if streak continues for a third time, I think Philadelphia wins this game in a defensive battle. I'm going to say Philadelphia wins like 14-10. to 10. I think it's going to be a low-scoring game. To be perfectly honest, I think it's going to be a defensive game. I could see it being a high-scoring shootout, but I feel like deep down it's going to be low-scoring. I got say I got Philadelphia winning by four over San Francisco, so I'm taking Philadelphia to cover the spread. I'm going to take Philadelphia plus the points in this one. So, yeah, Philadelphia covers in a low-scoring game. But, yeah, give me Philadelphia to advance and represent the NFC in Super Bowl 57. I think Philadelphia will end San Francisco's hot streak. And now to the late game, the evening game on Sunday, which will be for the AFC Championship. So for the AFC Championship game, we have the Cincinnati Bengals and the Kansas City Chiefs playing in Kansas City. No neutral site for this one. It's in Kansas City. The only way it would have been a neutral site game in Atlanta is if uh, Buffalo won, which they didn't. But yeah, Cincinnati, Kansas City, it's a rematch of last year's AFC Championship. Cincinnati's favored in this one by a one and a half points. So yeah, Cincinnati's the favorite over Kansas City, which is kind of shocking because usually in this situation, they usually favor Kansas City in this situation, not the other way around, especially last year when they favored Cincinnati by like, I mean, can't say by like seven points. And then Cincinnati won. But yeah, that's kind of shocking that Cincinnati's the favorite for this game. I thought they would have favored Kansas City and made Cincinnati the underdog. But I guess Vegas knows something we don't know. 
But yeah, um, Trey Flowers for the Bengals is questionable with a hamstring injury for the Camp Chiefs. Um, McCole Hardman's questionable with a pelvis injury. And we all know Patrick Mahomes, he's questionable since he suffered a high ankle sprain last week against the Jaguars in the divisional round. And it, sounded, it is sounding like um, that Mahomes is going to play this game. The question is, though, how will that ankle be? Because will that ankle affect him in the championship game or not? Or, or how bad will it affect him? Because, because that ankle sprain is going to affect how he could throw the ball and where he targets it. So, yeah. So, yeah, I think the big key for the Chiefs to win is that they got to protect Mahomes at all costs. And we all saw last week that the Bengals controlled the line of scrimmage in the snow against Buffalo and blew the Bills out. But yeah, I like to be honest for this game, it could go like Cincinnati, though, they lead the all time series over Kansas City 18 to 14. And the one and only playoff meeting between these two teams entering this game was last year's AFC Championship game, which Cincinnati won. So, yeah, the two times that these two teams have met have been for the AFC Championship. But, yeah, I mean, this game, I could see, I think this game is either going to be a high-scoring shootout or it's going to be a blowout in one team's favor. But here, but I'm, but I, I feel like it's going to be a high-scoring shootout between the two teams. I have Cincinnati winning this one 31 to 28. Just the Chief, the Bengals have had the Chiefs number. Like Burrow is undefeated against Mahomes. Like Mahomes has been good against every other QB except Joe Burrow. It just seems like Burrow has Mahomes' number. Which is something you like to see. But yeah, but yeah, the Bengals win this one. Plus, not only do I have it because of that, I have the Bengals winning because the last two years under this new playoff format, when we expanded the playoffs to 14 teams, like every year we expanded the playoffs, the Super Bowl has consisted of at least one team that played in the wild card round. And I think this year, and it's, yeah, and, you, and it's result, and... The last two in both years, we've had at least one team on the road win the championship. 2020, we had Tampa Bay win on the road in Green Bay for the NFC title. And last year, we had Cincinnati beat Kansas City in overtime to win the AFC championship. And oh, by the way, for everyone complaining about the overtime rules last year, here's a fun fact. Cincinnati lost the coin toss to Kansas City last year in overtime, and Cincinnati still won the game. But yeah, for the Bengals, I think the Cincinnati wins this game by a score of 31 to 28. I think it's going to be a high scoring game. But I do think Cincinnati covers the one and a half point spread. I got Cincinnati being the Chiefs by three. So yeah, give me the Bengals by three over Kansas City. So yeah, my Super Bowl 57 project prediction, I think it's going to be Philadelphia versus Cincinnati. Like I honestly feel like the winner of Buffalo-Cincinnati last week is going to represent the AFC in a Super Bowl because I because uh, I feel like one I feel like either Cincinnati or Buffalo can win against Kansas City in the AFC Championship. So I'm sticking with that. I think Cincinnati represents the AFC in the Super Bowl. And I think Cincinnati will go back to the Super Bowl for the second year in a row. But anyway, those are my picks for this week. That's all I got to say. Who will go to Super Bowl 57 and who will be sent to Elimination Station? Only two will be left standing after Sunday. I'm out. <laughs>